Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In my wild, mad imagination last night, I came up with an interesting idea. I've never heard of this kind of an antenna, but I wonder what would happen if someone were to build an antenna like this. It's, I call it a tripole antenna, a tripole antenna as opposed to a dipole antenna. Now, as you know, a dipole antenna has two elements, each a quarter of a wavelength long going in opposite directions from a two-wire feed line in which the RF currents at any given instant in time are 180 degrees out of phase. So they cancel the, uh, from the field from the feed line uh, is essentially zero because the currents uh, cancel each other out as long as the spacing isn't more than a few inches at high frequencies. Uh, I'm thinking, suppose that you made the equivalent, somehow to, were, to obtain the equivalent of a three-wire AC line like you so often see in utilities where there are three rather than two wires, each 120 degrees out of phase with respect to the to the other two. So say the blue wire and radiating element, pardon me, are at zero degrees phase. We just assign a number. The red one minus 120 degrees and the green one plus 120 degrees. So they're separated by one third of a cycle and they run near to each other the same way that a two-wire transmission uh, line would do. So you get zero radiation, net radiation from the feed line, the three-wire feed line. How you obtain this phase separation is not the subject of this video. The subject is, or the point is that you somehow manage to do it. There are a number of ways that you can. These are angles, actual angles between the radiating elements. They all lie in a single plane, a quarter of a wavelength long blue radiating element, quarter of a wavelength long green element, quarter of a wavelength long red element, all in a single plane and separated by an angle 120 degrees each. So you have three radiating elements, but they, uh, obviously the, they are not going to cancel out. Their fields are not going to cancel out in space when they are this long and separated by these kinds of distances, uh, which would result from radiating, radiating elements being a quarter of a wavelength long. I'm just wondering what do you suppose would happen if you built an antenna like this? What kind of a radiation pattern would you get? Would you get a, a radiation maxima perpendicular to the plane of the radiators that is coming in this drawing and be coming at you and going away from you but circularly polarized? Or would you get something else? Uh, a bi-directional circular polarization or would you get some other pattern because I I suspect you'd get a bi-directional circularly polarized wave uh, emanating from the tripole antenna but I don't really know do you do you have any ideas besides the fact that obviously I'm a nutcase <laughs> Stan Gibalisco W1GV saying 73
which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which, in my native fist, regardless of how many poles the antenna has, quadrupole, quintpole, hexpole, infinipole antenna, always means da-da-da-da-da-da.